Billionaire Burger Boys. Billionaire Burger Boys. It sound rich. Woo, man. It How much they cost? Rich. Okay, okay. First, <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the background. 635 North Broadway, Los Angeles, California, 90012. Now, they have a couple of locations. They started out as a food truck. This is a spot over in Chinatown that they share with another restaurant. It's, it's called Locales Only. And there's like three or four restaurants and they share time. The Burger Boys time, Thursday through Sunday, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm. And you can also check out their uh, uh, website, Billionaire Burger Boys with a Z mm-hmm. dot com. All right. Yeah, that's now, it. It was a pretty good location. It was. Yeah. You know, you, I'm always like when I get that address, I'm like, oh. Yeah, he he hit me immediately. He was like, oh, it's downtown. All I see is Red Curve. That's a Broadway. I know <laughs> what Broadway means. I looked, I pulled out the Google Maps and I circled the, the 360 view. I was like, man, I don't see nowhere to park up on this map. Oh, but, yes. Luckily, it's inside of a new like residential building with retail at the bottom. So they have an attached garage for retail parking. Which is pretty impressive to me. I was, I was sold. Hey. You're in Chinatown and you can park for free? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Got to take advantage. You got to. So as long as you support the businesses in the area, I'm sure they don't mind. So don't just be parking there and trying to, you know, walk six blocks up the street somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can risk it if you want to. You get caught, you get caught. Hey, that's on you. Hey. But, you know, so yeah, but you're in Burger Boys, man. So what's your first impressions? You walked in. Oh, man. You know what? My, my first problem was outside they... They share the space, so it's not a big sign, you know? Like, when I first drove past, I didn't realize what it was Yeah. until I had to come back around, and that stinks. You know, I didn't even, I didn't even notice the retail parking, you know? I, I parked someplace else and walked hey. and noticed it while I was walking, and then John got the hook. <laughs> Appreciate mm-hmm. you, brother. Oh, yeah. That's Don't what we work. do for each other. We look out. Don't worry. But, yeah, I wish there was a bigger sign. I know they're sharing the space with another couple of restaurants. And it's uh it's officially locales only is the space name. Yeah. But uh, I just wish there was something more to, you know, distinguish that it's not just a random retail space, that it's actually that restaurant. I seen the you know, the tables outside are a nice hint, but other than that, you no, know, no. You're hundred percent correct, you know, because I was looking up for the sign when I when I first got there as well. It's like, man, you can't really tell. Uh, and then when you of course when you walk in, you still can't really tell <laughs> I, I was like this is billionaire burger boys right you know i'm just making sure so no you're right about that yeah yeah but the inside plenty of seating mm-hmm. you know and then you look to the left there's some merchandise for sale it says billionaire burger boys on it you know and then uh the guys back there it was what three 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 guys back there yeah yeah the the guys, three for the three b's was one was a billionaire and the next one was burger and he was boys yep that was it yeah they made boys do all the cooking yeah man. boys is working hard as hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so yeah like you said walked in and um to the left nice little couch and a uh, little seating area there um also saw some playing cards in there like uno and just you know your regular 52 cards uh, playing cards. So yeah, nice vibe. Music was playing. You know, you could tell probably at I would say at night it's popping more, but they close at eight. Right, right. So I don't know. I don't know if there's any. I think everybody just coming in, getting that food real quick. Yeah, you know, in and out. That's what I would assume. You know, they do have that couch, like you said. That couch was open. Yeah, I think was. that couch was there before they were. They they so, built around that couch. Yeah, that couch. <laughs> <laughs> couch been there for a minute. It was worn in, is what I'm saying. It was. Uh, but you sunk right in, though. That's the good part. You know, them couches that's worn in, you just... It hugs you. Oh, man. It I hugs you. I couldn't get up. Yeah. It, it, here's the problem, though. Billionaire Burger Boys, uh, you eat that food, you catch a little itis, you sink into that couch, and you're stuck. Oh, that's over. Yeah, that's the problem. They're huh? going to call the paramedics, get uh, you up out that month. Now, what what you get? What you get again? Kind of simple, you know, because you know, I'm trying something for the first time. I know they had a, like a lot of different uh, variations of the burger that you can get. Uh, we'll speak on that more with yours in a second. But it's got a single patty with everything that comes on it. Uh, they have something called the Billy sauce. Um, had to make sure I got that. It's like a little bit of hot sauce mixed with um, some other stuff he mentioned, of course. So he said it's kind of like a thousand island, I guess, almost. 
um, but their version of it. So he said, you must get that on there. So I did get that. Um, and then I got their Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, you got the Kool-Aid. Yeah, it had three flavors, man. I, was I it flavors or just colors? Colors. It was three colors. It was blue, red, and damn, what was the third color? <laughs> probably purple. Yeah, you, you got to have that purple. That ain't, it ain't great. That purple. So, yeah, <laughs> they had three flavors. I got the blue. I got the blue. <laughs> I got the blue. What flavor it tastes like? It, that's it. Uh, Blue, blue, the blue tasted like uh, blue. You ever tasted blue before? <laughs> blue sugar. That's what it tasted like. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I thought we. I, I jumped ahead. I forgot to let you give them the background on on the people. That's what I did. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You um, you said yeah. The owner was uh, uh, uh Derek Bivens. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, David Lee, but Derek Bivens seems to be the primary gentleman there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, running this. So, of course, this was a food truck to begin with, which they do float around with their food truck business still. Um, but yeah, they have a, an establishment now. Uh, they used to have a Compton uh, location as well, um, from what we can see. Uh, can't confirm the address, but I don't think it's there anymore anyway. But you know a little bit more about the Food TV network. Oh, that yeah. That's the first place I saw them was uh, on Food Network game show called Guys grocery games hey. uh, hosted by Guy Fieri and uh, the competitors. They come in and they have to do 30 minutes. They get they have to shop, play some kind of a game mm. with their shopping like, oh, you can only get things from aisle one, five and seven, you know, and then they have to make uh, the food, everything in 30 minutes. Then they get judged and they come down to it, pick one group as the winner and they get like ten to twenty thousand dollars somewhere mm -hmm. in there, and, and they won. They won. They won twice. Ooh. They came on the show and won twice. Hey, yeah, they making come to play. burgers, making burgers, making burgers. Beating but they out had these the, chefs. You said the show they had to pick food from an aisle, so they probably didn't even make burgers on that episode. Oh, they only made burgers. Oh, it was like oh. Make us a breakfast dish. They made a breakfast burger. A bur oh, make us a surf and turf meal. They made a burger oh. with some shrimp on it. They were like, oh. <laughs> hey, that's what you do. <laughs> hey, if that's what you do, you stick to it. Hey. That's how you win. Yep, yeah, that's how you get ahead. Yeah, everybody, with these, you know. everybody with these business cards with eight different things on it, that's where you go wrong. Yeah. You know, you can get a focus on something. It's funny, man. I see these competition shows all the time, and they bring people <laughs> from all different, you know, different uh, styles and It'd be the people who keep it simple mm. to what they know that always win. It's like it's like uh, I watch a show and there's all these different food trucks and the winning food truck is the guys who made waffles. They beat out everybody else. They beat out, you know, the people making tacos, the people making these steak filet mignons and all this other stuff. They just make it waffles, it's waffles winning. I see so, that with like the grilled cheese, too. Like it's like when yeah. you see a grilled cheese food truck, like, a grilled cheese food truck. Hey. That's what they do. Winning. So that's the first time I saw the Billionaire Burger Boys is when they were on that uh, TV show. Mm. And uh, I knew they had a food truck. And then when I found out they had a physical location, I was like, oh, we got to go check it out because mm. I'm not chasing food trucks too hard. Yeah. Too hard. No, especially a black owned food truck. Yeah. Sorry, my people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that truck will be moving every 10 minutes. Like, you know what? They've been the parking. Enforcement came on, so we had to keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. That's why we had to. That's what we went <laughs> to them. So that's how I know them for yeah. sure. But yeah, um, and so yeah, so I got the burger and the and the in the blue and the blue uh, Kool Aid. What you get? I had uh, what they called the Raging Cajun Burger. Mm. Now the Raging Cajun was you got to check this out on on our YouTube page. You can see. Uh, me taking bites of this thing. It's mm. it's a uh, burger patty, only mm -hmm. you know toasted potato mm -hmm. bun with fried Cajun shrimp mm. and a fried lobster tail. Mm. Yes, with their special mm. sauce on it. It's it's a it's that a was big crunchy. burger, a burger burger. You understand me? Yeah, that sounded uh, yeah very crunchy. It, it sounded like every bite you just. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty epic, man. Yeah, it looked good too. I was, oh. I was like jealous. You got to check it out. 
Yeah. You got to check it out. Look at the YouTube page. That's what I have. And I also got the chicken wings. Hey, man, you can't just call them chicken wings. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, they were the, uh, the honey butter Cajun flavor is what I got. You picked the right flavor, brother. Oh, my goodness. That was a good wing. That way was pretty epic, man. I was about to get up and make a place to order myself. <laughs> oh, man. It was perfectly cooked. Right? Yeah, it was. Crispy, juicy. Hey. And that sauce they put on there. Hey. Oh, man. You enjoyed that wing, did you? I did, man. Y'all need to, like I said, go to the YouTube. I mean, if you guys are watching, you're good. But, hey, I'm turning that wing. Man, I'm, I'm, taking it, I'm taking that bite. Man, that wing was sexy. Now, I'll tell you, I didn't finish all my <laughs> food at the place. Right. So I took it home and I'm going to tell you what reheated well, them chicken wings. It it still was good. Oh, my goodness. You you microwaved it like toaster oven? You kept it. Are you kidding me? Air fryer. Where y'all at? at? Come on. Hey, hey, I'm just, you know, that was the third option. I didn't know whether to present every option in the book, but there you go. Yes. Put them joints in the air fryer and it was just fresh again. Oh, it's man. like I was back in the restaurant. You were trying to take credit for the billionaire burger boys <laughs> back there. Like, hey, I, 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 I made this wing. These are my wings. This is my sauce. <laughs> man, you understand? And yeah. uh, I shared them. I shared the reheated wings. And they were like, I want to go back for these wings. I want more. Yes. Them man. wings was it. Like, they almost need to put that in the title of the place. Like, billionaire burger boys and, and wings or something i don't yes. know yes billionaire burger boys and these honey butter cajun wings yeah you put that flavor in there too because yeah they were that good to where like it was almost an afterthought at the on the menu when you look at it but they need to promote that yes. harder yes Who they got something there with those i mean i like the burger it was a good burger true um, now in the video i said it was a little salty for me yeah and you know we you know we tend to have higher blood pressure i don't mm-hmm. want to go out like that mm, we don't yeah but other than that it was a very good burger it was juicy everything was cooked well yeah uh, the bun was soft and toasted it was very nice i agree I can't complain about it at a all thousand percent yeah burger like i said toasted and it was fresh of course they they pride themselves on fresh never frozen patties and you know we saw them in the cooking in, in the kitchen they were making everything fresh and yeah, you can taste the freshness. So. And we were we were there. We were uh, the only ones there when we walked in. So the wait wasn't very long. It was very, uh, it wasn't, what, five, ten minutes to yeah. cook all the food? And by that time, of course, we were checking out the business anyway. So it didn't take long at all. But yeah, definitely if it's probably like four or five people in line in front of you, you're probably waiting almost 30 minutes. It's probably going to take a little bit because, you know, like you said, they're fresh smashing those burgers and everything. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's going to take a little bit. But, you know, be patient. It's worth it. It is. Especially when you're getting them wings. Them wings, man. How far was it? We was about 10 minutes away from here. Yeah. It ain't even right. open. It ain't no drive. Oh, well, you're right. You're right. You got to wait. Wait, what's miss. today? Wait. No, they they open at 12. Yeah. yeah. You can get them a little later. It's a little All early, right. but you can get them later. I'll be knocking on that window. Hey, on the way home. <laughs> scratching my neck. <laughs> I got to demo them wings. <laughs> that was good. Though, bro. Now, John, you walked around the whole place, you know, with the... uh first person view camera glasses on anything else you noticed you want to tell them about uh walking around uh, of course i saw they had other businesses that was there other days of the week we did mention that uh, another black owned business there you can check out monday through wednesday um they had some dessert options every type of hot sauce imaginable i saw they had there <laughs> sitting on the counter so if you're a fan of hot sauce i'm sure they got your option uh walking around further i went to the back toward the bathroom check that out Look pretty decent. Impressed with that. Um, what else? Uh, they had some, you know, some shirts for sale. You could buy some clothing. Billionaire Burger Boys or the locals only or locales only. Um, artwork. And they also had the TV on showing TV, uh, showing the Avatar movie. Uh, what else did we see in there? They had all the hot sauce. Oh yeah, yeah. every hot sauce. I don't know what you're putting it on. They Man. they saucing it up enough. I don't yeah. Know what you, you need to have? Maybe that hot sauce is more so for the other restaurant. Maybe. Maybe it's more so you putting hot sauce on your fried pork chops or something. That's probably what it was. Place. You ain't need it on this boys, spot. Because that honey butter Cajun sauce on the wings is yeah. all you need. And you may have to look up Solo's Kitchen, of course, is the name. If you're trying to find this and you can't find it, Solo's Kitchen is the other half of Billionaire Burger Boys when they're operating. So, um, yeah. So also on their menu, they had some, some like salmon nuggets that, that I bet were seasoned really well as well. Uh, look pretty tasty. A chicken burger, uh, of course. If you're uh, 
if you're vegetarian, I think they had a mushroom. I think I saw it somewhere on here. If I can find it again. Um, impossible, probably. Possibly an impossible. Uh, it says garden patty. A, a vegetarian burger says garden patty. So I don't okay. think that's uh, impossible. That's okay. that old school OG original. When, when yeah, people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that black bean. That black bean burger. And yeah. Then, remember the it was one like the, well, the garden burger probably. It was like greenish on the inside. I'm like, it's a little bit too, too real for me. Hey, they had a, a chicken. Was it a fried chicken sandwich or was it a chicken burger? I think it's a chicken burger. I don't think it's fried. Uh, or it might be because it's a sauce. It, it comes with. Oh, it got the Cajun honey butter sauce on the fried chicken sandwich. I'm a got fool. It on there. I'm a fool. I messed up. Yeah, I think you did. There I messed is. up. I should have got the chicken sandwich. And now we know. Oh, my goodness. We didn't know. Oh, my goodness. I messed up. I know now. Yeah, they they bat their batter, period, for their chicken. Oh, for the lobster, you can speak on, but the batter was really good. Um, oh, they got a fried chicken sandwich that they cover in the honey butter Cajun sauce. Yeah, that's, that's probably damn delicious. Oh, man, I messed up. I'm going back. You got to go. <laughs> you got to go back. I'm going back. You got to. Yep. <laughs> there's a note. There's a note on the website by Kevin Durant. If you don't know, it's an NBA player. Uh, he says his quote is them wings, though. <laughs> 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 that's the quote so hey it tells you everything you need to know uh, the billionaire burger boys and the quote is them wings though oh because yes the wings though that's it it's it's like an afterthought but you got to make sure you look at the whole menu yes get you a double burger get you a chicken sandwich with a honey butter sauce get you some chicken wings with that honey butter occasion you're going to have a good day. For sure. And you're if you're going with someone, day. spit it all up. Share half the burger so you can get that. Share some of the wings. The You know, they got some jambalaya fries we didn't even get to. But, you know. Uh, yeah. So good. Yeah. So, John, what you think about the place on a scale of one to five? How black is it? How black is the billionaire burger? And I told you, man, they got a they got a one right off the rip with the Z on the boys. It's, it's black right there, you know, because it's <laughs> automatically gonna scare some people away. That's you know? one point immediately. Immediately, right there, boy. Oh, boys. Oh, honey, we can't go there. <laughs> That's what I felt. Uh, but based on everything else, based on the fact that they share this space, it's not hundred percent there, so they probably can't turn it into what they really wanted to. Um, the fact that they're ours or what they are, so it can't turn into a late night spot the way they probably want it to. Um, it's a three. It's right in the middle um, for me. It was, you know, it wasn't black, be black, black, you know, where you feel uncomfortable. And it wasn't like, you know, this is the safest space, comfortable, imaginable to where, yeah, uh, it's a three. Hey, right, that's a good number. That's where we want to be at. You know, that's, that's where the Starbucks be. next door. Yeah, the Starbucks next door. Yeah, it's in Chinatown. Yeah, it's adjacent. Chinatown adjacent. Uh, yeah, it's it sits right in that sweet spot. So, yeah, and like I said, the service was great. You know, and you know, music was yeah, it was great. Live, yeah, man, three is all good, man. A parking lot. Yeah, you know it's a you know you got a park home. You got a parking lot. You you ain't no five. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no five. Unless that <laughs> parking lot is a gravel parking lot. Yeah, we got to be like, okay, maybe I'm considering it, but. Okay, okay, three. That's where you want to be at. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, scale from one to five overall. How is the place? One to five overall. So you know, of course, we always look at the you know when you walk in. I'm always a census person. As long as the smell is good, the sights, everything was good there. Uh, the taste of the food was solid. I had no complaints with the food. Restaurants were clean. Um, well, the one single star was clean. Um. The only thing that I docked them for was the hours. And I know it's, you know, it's tough. They're probably, you know, they've been around for a couple of years now. So, I, you know, it's hard to be like, oh, you know, dock them a whole point for just getting started or, you know, not having the hours they want. But I still set a 4.5 because, um, yeah, I went here for a burger and, and, and I was happy. And um, like I said, the only thing I was kind of like mildly upset about was that the hours. What about you? Uh like we said before in the video, this is our first match on the rating, 4.5. That's it. Yeah. Like I said, man, uh, good burger, 
great chicken wings. Mm. Uh, yeah. Plenty of seating. Yeah. Uh, good service. You know, uh, they take cash. They got a restroom. They got a nice inside space parking. Mm. I mean, it's just it's good all the way around like that. It's it's a solid four point five. Yeah. Yeah. And so what was your some, you, some, some, sometimes the, how was the prices? Let me see. The regular burger is what? Ten bucks. Yeah, the regular was ten. Basically for the for the burger and the and the Kool Aid, I paid fifteen. Okay, okay. So Kool Aid was a little overpriced. A single quarter pound burger, ten bucks. But we in a gourmet type of uh, you know stratosphere where we trying to be. So I can't be mad at ten bucks. Yeah, you know. What was yours at though? Huh? Oh, sixteen. Oh, my mine was the lobster tail oh, burger, no. and that shrimp. joint cost thirty. Yeah. But it's lobster it's tail. It's got lobster tail on it. I mean, I mean, yeah, exactly. That's why. Yeah. So the regular burger is 10. Then you add shrimp and that turns into what? 15 or something? Yeah, 16? 16. And then you add the lobster tail that pushes up to 30. I get it. That's it. I get that. Um, I mean, I can't be too mad. Yeah. You, know? you complaining about ordering a lobster tail burger and then $30. I mean, get out. Yeah. How much was the wings, though? Uh, the wings were. That's a great question. I ain't mad. Fifteen for wings and fries. Wings and fries. I I still hate how much they charge us for chicken though. Yeah. Anywhere, it's still crazy. I know. You know, you drive by KFC and they talk about oh a ten ninety nine deal for eight pieces leg and thighs. Like what? Yeah. Come on, man. What? They Y'all still tripping. yeah they still robbing us on the chicken prices. I don't like that. But I agree. Other I agree there. That, other than that, I'm not mad. It's it is what it is. It's about you know on par with what's going on. So yep. prices ain't too bad. So yeah, I I leave them. I was trying to find something else to say, but I'm gonna leave them at the four point five. Leave them at the four point five. I'm over here nitpicking. Yeah, that's it. But yeah. that's that's so that's what we settled on. So yeah, be sure to follow their uh, follow them on Instagram at Billionaire Burger Boys with a Z. Uh, have eighty three thousand followers on there, so doing pretty well. Um, and then, of course, Marcus gave their website to begin with, and um, yeah, I'm full still. Oh man, yeah, was, yeah that catch that itis. That was it. Shoot. All right. So yeah, so guys, check us check us out on our YouTube as well, the Black Business Podcast, so that you can see us taking a bite of this delicious burger. And, and catch that first person view of the whole thing from start to finish. Yeah, yeah. you ain't got to believe us all the time because we show you. Yeah, you can form your own opinion. That's it. So, all right. All right. Got anything else, man? That's it for me today. That's it for me today. All right, man. Well, hey, everybody, thanks again. Thanks again for tuning in to the Black Business Podcast. We appreciate you so much. So uh, until next time, peace. See you.